Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a real special video for you. I'm gonna be going over and teaching you how to do one of the best mixing techniques that I have ever learned. How to calibrate your parallel buses. This technique has been such a game changer for me. I've included it in my template. I basically designed my entire mixing template system around this technique. And I wanna share with you how you can do it for yourself. And if after watching how to calibrate your own parallel buses, if you feel like this is something that you don't really wanna get into, that's quite all right. I've got templates in Luna, Pro Tools, Logic Pro, and Studio One with all of your parallel buses pre-calibrated for you. So all you have to do is merge your audio to the template and you're set. But for those of you who have been asking to learn how to calibrate your parallel buses, this video is for you. Okay, so here are all of the tools that you'll need to calibrate your parallel buses. I'm going to start with my vocal bus here. This is coming off of my lead vocal group. I have a send in pre-fader. That's pretty important because I want that in a pure parallel fashion. So anything that's coming out of the output fader on the channel that's going to the mix bus is not affecting the actual parallel bus. And uh, this one is called the vocal bus. I've got an 1176 style compressor on there, but this is one that's uh, a little bit more transparent, doesn't have as much of those tonal characteristics that the original 1176 with the blue stripe and the gray interface there. So if you don't have this particular plugin, that's fine. Just grab your favorite transparent compressor. I've also got a VU meter. This is very important. I know there's several free ones out there that you can pick up. This is the one by Waves. I've just had it for a very long time and it gets the job done. That is the first thing that I'm gonna have on my mix bus. I don't have anything else here, but if you did, but just make sure that you have the VU meter as your very first plugin on what everything is going into the mix bus. I wanna hit that first so that I can have a true reading of what we're doing. Next up is I'm just using a signal generator and I believe every DAW has one. So, you know, just look on your stock plugin menu and pull up a signal generator. Now I have this in bypass right now. I've also, I'm also gonna have the output of my mix bus muted because it's gonna take us a second to calibrate this and I don't want to just hear that signal coming through. It's very annoying. So for your ears and mine, I've got that in mute. All right, so what I wanna do first is I usually just set that around minus 18 because it's that's basically the audio signal that I'm looking for all of my audio tracks to have. So I've got that at minus 18. So what we're gonna do, make sure that your fader is in pre-fader mode. You've got your compressor on the channel that you're going to calibrate. Make sure that that bus is all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbypass the signal generator. So as you see, the signal is also going out through the main output that's going to the mix bus. We're getting a reading at three here on the VU. So that's really good, that's a good spot. Sometimes you have to kind of tweak these things and add a little more volume or less because you may be over, but that's okay. As long as you're able to move in two spaces because the vocal bus here is gonna need to have two dBs of gain back to the mix bus. All the other ones down here just have one. I just have those as little notes, little reminders. We're also sending to this channel. As you can see, we've got signal, but we're not hitting anything on the compressor just yet. So for the vocal bus, I like to hit around minus seven. And so I'm gonna need to increase something to get that to hit seven. These are the settings that I like as far as the attack and release and ratio go. But I've got to get this compressor to work at around minus seven. So what we could do is we could increase the send, but I don't think we're gonna get there all the way. So I wanna increase on the actual compressor or whatever it is that you're calibrating first. So let's put a little more input All right, so now maybe we add a little, send a little bit more signal. 
All right, there we go. So we still have plenty of space left. We're just a little, we're just between 15 and 10 on sending that. So now what I want to do is look at my VU meter. And I want to count 2 dBs over. So that's 2, 1. So I need to get this VU meter over here to 1 because that's plus 2 dB. And the way that I do that is by moving the return fader of the vocal bus. So I'm going to increase that and watch the VU meter. All right, so there's 1 dB, 2 dBs. So there we are. So now with the recommended compression setting of getting around 7 dBs of compression, the return, the added gain that we're adding from our compression back to the overall mix is only 2 dBs. And so that is how you pre-calibrate your parallel buses. I'll do the same thing for the drum bus, the drum crush bus, and the music bus. All right, y'all. So there you go, step by step on how to pre-calibrate your parallel buses. Like I said, if this is something that you want to practice, you've got a video now to reference back to. But if not, you can always pick up the pre-calibrated mixing templates that I have. I have those designed to be your recording and mixing template. I've also got a few that come with a stock plugin version, but also one that uses the third-party plugins that I use so that it can be a template that you can grow with. If you have any questions about this technique, please go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. I'll be sure to answer them. Also, before you go, make sure that you pick up your free guides. All of the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll talk soon.